Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Birmingham City in today's episode we are of course going to play Derby County and Fulham in the championship they are second and third respectively if we get two wins automatic promotion may be on the cards so there's only been two games that you've missed since the last time we met the first of which was a home tie against Burnley and this was actually a massive win. Burnley is sitting in seventh position in the championship currently so to get a quite comfortable 2-0 win really did fill me with confidence. Felix Correa and Mika Marmal getting both the goals in the first half and Burnley win all match. But then we drop points. We drop points away from home against Blackburn Rovers and it's sort of put a little bit of a dampener on things. We've won a lot a lot of games in the past 15 and or so so we can't really complain but yeah, it would have been nice to get three points here. So due to them two dropped points, we are now 10 points off second place derby with only eight, how uh, many games? Nine games remaining. It's not insurmountable, it's not impossible, but it does require us to both beat Derby and Fulham and then hope they drop even more points as the season goes on. It's looking pretty unlikely at this point. Maybe if we were still within eight points, you know, it was a little bit more realistic, but that draw Blackburn really has taken the wind of our, out of our sails quite a little bit. But in terms of the playoffs, we are four points clear from Burnley in seventh place now, so we do have a little bit of a cushion should it be required. Um, but obviously, we just got to win games. Let's see how we get on. So first little bit of housekeeping uh, before we get into the match. Unfortunately, Oriel Busquets has agreed a deal with Real Sociedad to join them at the end of the season, which means... He will no longer be available to sign on a free transfer and it would have been something I would have been highly interested in if he was still available. But he didn't want to talk to me. He wasn't interested in joining Birmingham in the championship so he's going to join Real Sociedad. That takes us to the first game today then which is against Derby County at home. It is the game I'm most confident in. Obviously our home form is pretty spectacular um, whilst our away form is a little bit iffy uh, in terms, well at least compared to my home form at the very least. This is the lineup that we're going to go with today. Inaki Pena in goal, Keith Lonsdale, Harley Dane, Mika Marmol, and Sehevich in the defence. Busquets and Bellingham in the centre. Korea, Mazamaru, Mazarimu, Mazazai. That's, that's the one. Adam Armstrong and Esposito. Yeah. First highlight of the game comes two minutes in. Busquets gets a ball in the box. It's cleared by the Derby County defence, and they can break with Rothwell driving forward through the centre. He's got plenty of options on that left hand side, but Jude Bellingham gets back. And gets the challenge in and lovely football to find Adam Armstrong one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And he should be burying that. Absolutely no doubt about it. Ryan with a fantastic save for Derby County to keep them in the game. Um, should be 1-0. Baldock with a throw in on the right hand side. Is that George Baldock? Sheffield United George Baldock playing for Derby County. Nice to see our old boys popping up here and there. Minaj picks up the ball on this left hand side. He's driven in the box. Keith Lonsdale has given away a penalty. No VAR check needed. It is definitely a penalty to Derby County and who is stepping up? It's going to be Tom Lawrence steps up to take it and he buries the ball and puts Derby County 1-0 up. Tom Lawrence's eighth goal of the season and not the best of starts by us. Another set piece for Derby. Lawrence with it this time. Plays it to Bielek um, on the edge of the area. They go all the way back to Taylor but they've got a lot of men forward. If we pinch the ball here it is an absolutely monster of a counter-attack. And Esposito is through already. We pinch the ball and play him through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he bury it when Adam Armstrong couldn't? He certainly can. That's his 11th goal of the season. Oriel Busquets with the assist. And we equalise within 10 minutes. That's exactly what we needed to do. No panic. Don't need to make major changes to the tactic or the team instructions or anything. Let our game play. And Esposito does the rest. Highlight straight from kickoff though I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad about it I'll tell you in a minute I might be happy about it Felix Correa picks up the ball on the right hand side feeds the ball through to Esposito the keeper's not coming for it and Esposito is just a beautiful man he's 12th goal of the season he's second of the game and we now take our lead 22 minutes in Derby I mean if I was Derby County manager I'd be absolutely fuming with this one Felix Correa with a long ball over the top the keeper I mean he should have been out for that about five seconds ago. Unfortunately for them, he's not. And unfortunately for us, Esposito was on hand. Corner, Sehevich to take it. He plays it into the front post. Adam Armstrong's there. Gets his head on it and goes close. We do sort of need to keep an eye. I mean, we don't need to keep an eye on Fulham. But we do. But we don't. But we do. And they're winning. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Birmingham 2. Birmingham? Birmingham 2. Derby County 1. 
a good performance from us so far, I would say. Despite that uh, penalty from Keith Lonsdale, we are definitely showing our pedigree in this league. Playing against the team currently sitting in second, and I, I would say we are dominating. But of course I would say that. And Derby don't... Oh my God, what was that? Adam Armstrong picks up the ball, finds Esposito in the box. Ryan with another big save. That would have been the worst goal I've uh, seen ever if you were a Derby player. Ah, oh, it wasn't a B. Another highlight now. Jude Bellingham picks up the ball from Adam Armstrong. Knocked down. He goes for goal himself and it ends up going out for a corner. We'll stick with it. Sejovic takes it. It's cleared at the front post. Marmol can keep the ball alive though. And that, that was the highlight. That was brilliant. With only 20 minutes to go, I am a little bit hesitant to make any changes right now. We will see what happens here. Adam Armstrong played in by Sehevic on that left-hand side. And he hits the post and then goes wide. I'm going to have to ignore. I want to see what Derby County are doing. They've went with a more positive team mentality. It's 2-0 Fulham now anyway. So it's pointless even keeping an eye on them. With five minutes to go, we will look to make changes. Keith Lonsdale and Felix Correa can both come off. Jeremy Bella. Oh, we haven't got our boy on the bench either. I think he's injured. Um, he's going to have to stay on them. We'll bring on Ryan Burke uh, for Zahevich on this left-hand side. They've gone very, very attacking and we were not quick enough to <laughs> to be able to counter it. Thankfully, we can go on the cautious team mentality now for the final three minutes and see out the rest of this game, hopefully. And now we have it. Birmingham City 2, Derby County 1. Game 1 done. Three points earned. Now let's go beat Fulham. A couple of changes to our starting eleven. then for the Fulham game. Philip Sandler comes in at centre-back. Callum Robinson comes in at left wing. Other than that, it is pretty much unchanged. This will be a far more difficult challenge away from home against Fulham. They are now sitting in second place. We need to make it two wins out of two if automatic promotion is even a conversation for the rest of this season. Fulham did recently beat um, Watford, who were sitting comfortably top of the table. So they are a very good side in that offside. Don't celebrate. I'm not even interested. Just carry on with the game, please. Sean Michael Seri with a free kick goes to Dominic Calvert-Lewin at the back post. They signed him for like 15 million in the January transfer window. But um, we, we are happy with our loans, actually. Highlight now. Oriel Busquets plays in a Mazamiru in the centre of the park. Callum Robinson tries to switch the play to Felix Correa. And unfortunately, Fulham have won the ball back and are probably going to counter-attack now with Dennis Mann on this right-hand side cutting in through the centre, feeds the ball through to Mitrovic who's in behind and he gets his 15th goal of the season and puts Fulham 1-0 up 33 minutes in. It was all a little bit easy wasn't it really? Um, a simple play through by Dennis Mann here. Uh, does well going through the centre of the park. A nice little through ball, splits our centre halves and Mitrovic with a tidy finish and Nagy Pena can do nothing about that. Highlight 36 minutes in, Jude Bellingham picks up the ball on the edge of the area, he goes for goal himself and it goes just over the bar. Highlight now, Dominic Calvert-Lewin bringing the ball down this left-hand side for Fulham. Thankfully, Oriel Busquets is on hand to dispossess him. We give the ball away though again and Stacey brings it down this right-hand side. I thought Callum Robinson was going to nick in there and uh, launch a counter-attack. But unfortunately, Fulham are a little bit too good and they retain possession well. The ball finds Dennis Mann who finds Stacey on this right-hand side in acres of space. The ball's played in back post. Dominic Calvert-Lewin's there. His fifth goal of the season puts Fulham 2-0 up. And we are sinking without a trace here, boys. 2-0. Only second half, really, to go on this point. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be automatic promotion this year. We've got 45 minutes to turn it around. Maybe a goal here could really, really lift spirits. Sehevich coming down this left-hand side. He's got one man to beat, and unfortunately for us, he doesn't beat him. It looks like it's going to be an another counter-attack for Fulham. Mitrovic coming down this right-hand side. Um, plays the ball back to Jean-Michel Serri. Dennis Mann with the ball over the top. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Thankfully, we've drifted him out wide, but he whips the ball in. Dennis Mann heads over the bar. Yeah, it's been a half of domination, really, for Fulham when you think about the highlights. And that's us going in 2 nil down. Probably our worst performance so far, at least since January. Um, let's kick back off and hopefully we can turn things around. Sehevich has picked up a knock. We'll bring on Ryan Burke for him at left-back. Another highlight now with only 20 minutes remaining of the match. Fulham have really, really dominated this game and we just haven't been able to match them man for man. Stacey coming down this right-hand side. Is he going to whip the ball in? He tries to. Would then manage to get a block in, but it's whipped in again. He's hit his own players. Can we break? No, we can't. The highlight continues though. Stacey gets the ball down the right-hand side again. Calvert-Lewin's back post. He's had a couple of them opportunities today. Could easily have had two or three goals for himself. Um, we're going to have to go very attacking, aren't we? Just for this final 
10 minutes or so give us the best opportunity we can to try and change this game around we're going to bring on adam armstrong for um callum robinson on that left hand side we'll bring on nathan holland to play in behind the striker and see if these boys can do anything to try and get us back into this game five minutes remain there is a highlight and we are in possession and then we give it away and kamano can come forward for fulham down this left hand side he doesn't have much support in the box it is slowly arriving and he gets past his man goes for goal himself which is a little bit silly and it remains 2-0 the highlight continues felix correa picks up the ball drives down this right hand side he's going to go for goal, for goal himself isn't he? he isn't he's going to go back to oriel busquets and he gives us a chance he gives us a chance i mean we really do need a win here if we are to actually be contenders so the one goal isn't really that significant but at least it gives us a chance of getting a point and the final few minutes come on boys highlight whenever you're ready it's not going to happen is it one minute remain and the time has gone fulham to birmingham city one and that is all she wrote for our automatic promotion hopes as you can see after that defeat we are now 12 points away from fulham in second place with only seven games remaining seems like a pretty much impossible task to be able to overtake them now so our target is now playoffs we are three points clear from cardiff city sitting in seventh place um so we've got to get bounced back get back on form keep the wins coming and finish up as high as we can to give ourselves the best chance in the playoffs so looking forward to the next episode it will be the end of season games against wigan and hull well depending it might end up being the playoff games depends how things go if it's looking like we might not get playoffs we'll obviously be back for these last two games if it's guaranteed we're going to get playoffs i might just play it through and we'll see you in the playoffs in the next episode but anyway if you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you are enjoying my content get yourself subscribed but until next time take it easy